Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to this week's kitchen design tip from Schmidt Kitchens in Wimbledon. A little bit different today, uh, we're going to focus on how small changes in your kitchen project can actually make a big difference on price. Um, so we're going to start off with these two pictures of a, pretty much the same kitchen in front of us. Uh, when you look at them on first glance they look pretty much identical and what I will do is give you a proper look at each of the two kitchens. So if you take a look at things like the furniture, the appliances, the worktop, the extractor, the stools, see if you can see any differences between these two kitchens. Can you tell any of them? Okay, so whilst they do look very, very similar, if you look at the kitchen over here on the left, you'll see we've got different appliances to the one on the right. That's different ovens, different extractor. When you come down to the sink and tap, slightly more subtle, uh, it's actually more difficult to see. We have uh, a different sink and tap on this kitchen as well. We also have the upstand on this kitchen and we have different handles between the two as well. Um, what's really interesting is when you look at the price of these two kitchens. This one on the left using Zanussi appliances, uh, using a slightly lower spec extractor, a simple overmounted sink and tap, and without an upstand, is actually just under £11,000 delivered. This kitchen on the right, very, very similar, but slightly upgraded lacquered handles, Neff appliances, including a combination of a microwave rather than just a microwave, a higher spec extractor, a boiling water tap and a factory undermounted sink in our laminate worktop. By the way, we're the only people who can do that. Um, and also a, an upstand. So the difference in the price here is that this particular kitchen on the right is actually just under £15,000. So there's about £4,000 difference between these two kitchens. What we're trying to say is that it's really important to think about the items you want in your kitchen in relation to your budget when you're actually planning out your kitchen. Something as simple uh, as upgrading a few appliances and changing a sink and tap can add a considerable amount of money onto the cost of your kitchen as a whole. So when you're thinking about this, do be guided by your designer and let your designer guide you in the direction of what appliance brands and uh, what accessories you should have in the kitchen overall. Um, uh, another really good example of this is if you were to simply change the finish of these doors from a laminate finish up to a lacquered finish, you could add as much as £1,500 onto the uh, cost of this kitchen. Um, so again, whilst they don't look ultimately different, thinking about what's the most important thing to you in the kitchen and letting your designer guide you in that direction will definitely get you to where you want to be and make sure you're hitting your budget in the long run. That's all for now and we'll see you soon for the next tip.